What's up creators? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take beautiful seamless patterns like these that I'm showing you and easily scale them and put them on tumbler and mug wraps. So let's jump right in. So the first thing I'm going to do is go through this My Designs Dream AI library and we're going to find a pattern that we really like and we want to scale. So I'm going to just scroll through here. I really like this pattern here. So let's go ahead and click into this pattern and you will see that the prompt is located right here. And we can actually just copy that prompt by clicking this button. It shows us the model that it was generated with the resolution, the style, and the file type, etc. So we're going to copy this prompt and then we're going to jump over to the My Designs GPT and we're going to ask it to scale this to different ideas. So if you're not sure what to type out here, you can always click this button, which is analyze my prompt and help me come up with scalable prompts for Dream AI. But I'm going to go ahead and type analyze this prompt and scale it to five different flower types and you can really do as many as you want here um, I'm doing five just for the sake of the video I don't want to get too crazy with it but you can read the first prompt said a seamless abstract watercolor color pattern with fluid brush strokes ink splatters and soft gradients and shades of lavender peach and deep indigo creating a dreamy artistic look so now our scaled prompt here should include flowers so you can see here it added delicate roses elegant lilies vibrant sunflowers, etc. So all we want to do here now is in between these lines, we're going to copy these um, prompts and then we're going to jump back over to my designs and I'll show you why these spaces, these gaps are important here. So now we're on my designs and what you need to make sure you're doing here is if you're generating these for tumbler wraps, you want them to be one to one aspect ratio. Um, obviously we want it to be seamless. So we're going to select under style um, illustration seamless PNG and the model if you don't know is uh, recraft version 3 um, it can generate these seamless patterns so now we're just going to go ahead and copy or not copy highlight this um, prompt that we had in before and we're going to paste the prompts that we just copied from my designs GPT now these gaps are important because if we turn on parallel prompts here it's going to read each um, prompt as an individual one so we can run them all at the same time and that gap or space is what um, tells it that it is a new prompt so we're going to go ahead and uh, click dream here and this should just take a moment to generate and then i'll show you what those look like and we'll go ahead and just pick a few of them that we like to use and um, i'll show you how to easily turn them into tumblr wraps Great, so those are all done generating now. So we'll go ahead and just look through these. This looks like it's the sunflower version. I'm not gonna get too picky, but I'm gonna go ahead and select one of each of these designs to use as examples. And you need to remember as well on Tumblr wraps, they don't need to be seamless from top to bottom. They just need to be seamless from side to side. Um, and I'll show you why the top to bottom doesn't matter, although these designs are actually seamless all the way around. So I like those five, and once I've clicked on the five that I want, you'll see up here it says I have five out of 120 images, um, or I can save up to 120, excuse me, I have five selected. So we're gonna go ahead and just click, click Save. I'm gonna click Upscale, because I want them to look better. And then I'm going to save them to a collection called Seamless Pattern Digital Products that I created ahead of time. And we're creating a new list, listing, excuse me, and we're saving these images in the main file slot. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Save to Listing and then Yes, Store Images. And we'll jump over to our listings page now to show you what those look like. All right, we're on the listings page here and you can see that my images are now saved into this collection so we can start working on them. So the first thing we need to do is change the dimensions on these to be um, the right dimensions for tumbler wraps. So I have them all selected. You can see if you don't know how to do that, just go here and collect, uh, excuse me, select all and you'll see now five out of five is selected. Then we're going to go into our canvas system here. I'm going to go to templates and I'm gonna to go to custom size 
and we're going to go this uh, this is for tumblr wraps 2790 by 2460 and i will leave these dimensions in the description of the video and then we're just going to click create now we're going to go ahead and add our files to this canvas we can do that by going to the top corner here and clicking add listing file and then we're going to click add to all now you'll see it doesn't quite touch the edges and so well actually I want to show you that it's uh, seamless first so we're going to just reduce the size here we're going to copy it and paste it and then if I put it next to the other one and you'll see there's a little white gap there you just need to press the over arrow key once or twice and you'll see now that it's perfectly seamless so I'm going to delete this and then what we want to do with this uh, design now is go to position and we're going to click fit to artboard or excuse me we're going to we're going to click fit to width now and then we just want to go ahead and click middle I, I just barely moved it to middle but you can click the middle button like that and now the sides are perfectly seamless and now you'll see on our other canvases we still have these other ones to work with but this is what makes my design so great we can just go ahead and click this i guess i should say one of the things we can right click on our image Anything we've done to this one after we click sync here is now going to happen to all of the other ones that we're working with at the same time. So once those, that's done, those are all perfectly set up now. We could just click save. And I'm going to go ahead and overwrite the file here because now it's the proper dimension. So I'm just going to click the same one that we um, used to bring these files in and, and overwrite it. And it tells you here that you're going to overwrite the files. I'm going to just click yes. So that'll take just a moment and then I'm going to show you how we can get a tapered version of these same files so that we can sell both. All right, now that that is done, if I hover over my image, you'll see that it's 2,790 by 2,460 um, pixels, or excuse me, the aspect ratio. And then we're going to go again into, um, not canvas this time, we're going to go to mockups here. And we're going to go image mockups. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the category here to digital. And then you'll see at the top here, I have it favorited. If you don't, you can just type Tumblr and you'll get all the Tumblr related mockups. But this right here is our tapered file. So all we want to do with this is just select it. The input file slot is the image we're feeding it, which is just the only file we have, that straight version of our um, Tumblr app. And then the output is where we're going to save the new one and i named the file slot tapered so we can generate a preview here if we want but this is going to convert our straight tumblr wrap into a tapered tumblr wrap and then you'll see at the bottom now it has the slight um, taper on both sides so we're going to go ahead and just click generate mockups and once again in my designs when you have five listings selected this is happening to all of them at once so we don't have to go into each individual one and do this you'll now see if I double click on these it'll pull up all of that file and I can go to a grid view here so we can see them better now we have our tapered versions that are seamless just like our straight version of these designs so now we're gonna go ahead and do some mock-ups once again, we just need to make sure we have all five of our listings selected before we go into mockups here. Uh, you can also search it here under quick actions. You'll see I have MO typed in. It's image mockups. So I have a profile saved, which is essentially just all of the mockups I want to create for these digital Tumblr wraps. If you don't know how to do that, we have separate videos on it. But I'm going to just go ahead and click this. You'll now see it turn multi mockups on and all of the mockups I'm generating are located at the top here. And you'll see it says some files will be overwritten because it's actually creating my tapered file for me in this um, in these same mockups. So I'm going to go ahead and click generate mockups. And that will take about 10 to 15 seconds and then I'll show you what those look like. All right, now that those are done, I'll just go ahead and go to the grid view here and then we'll double click on these mockups. So you'll see just like that, we created about it's five or six um, mockups on five different listings all at once. This is just showing that there's a straight version and then this one is showing that there's a tapered version. And then we've just got a few more good looking mockups. So our next step is to get some data in here and then we're going to go ahead and publish it.
I'm going to use our feature called Vision AI, which is located right here on this eye icon. Uh, you can also, again, search it under Quick Actions if you want. But what this does is scans our image and then it creates our data based on the image we're feeding it. And it is uh, trained on Etsy data, although it's trained better on print on demand products, not as well on digital. So I obviously wouldn't um, use this if I was publishing. I would, you know, I may use it rather, but I would make sure that I change quite a bit of things because I'm not sure how well it's going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and change the product type here to digital. The platform is Etsy, our newest model, and I do want it to generate uh, title, description, and tags. Now, under custom instructions, I'm going to select that. I'm going to type, this is being sold, or this is a digital Tumblr wrap being sold as a PNG. Please include that in the data. And then we're going to just go ahead and click generate listing data. Yes, run Vision AI, and we'll see what we get from this. Once again, it should take about 10 to 15 seconds, and then I will show you what that looks like. Great. Now that that is done, you can see it actually did a really good job. I'm quite surprised by it. You'll see our tags over here for all of our listings our descriptions and our titles. And if you read this, you'll see floral roses, watercolor. So it's actually catching the type of flower. You'll see down here, lily, um, or orchid. So it, it did a really good job. I'm quite surprised, but these are now ready to go for our Etsy listing. So our next step is to publish these products. Now you can find, or you can go to publish in the top right corner here. We're gonna go publish, and then we're gonna go under digital Etsy. And if we have SVGs, we can convert them into different file types, but I'm going to just select the files to sell as I need to select the straight and tapered version. Now this step right here is just what our customer is going to receive. So we don't want to select the mockups that we generated, just the two files that, that we want them to get. And then we're gonna go to the next step. Right here is where we will select our mockups. So I do like this one as our primary mockup. I think that's great. If you wanna change the order, you can just drag them, but whatever one is listed at the front here is going to be the one that is your primary. And then I'm gonna move these two straight and tapered files. Uh, this is just showing them they get straight and tapered. I'm gonna move them to the back there. And then if we want, we can actually add a watermark and then type what we want that to be. I'm not going to do that. That's just how you can do it if you want to. And then we're gonna to go to the next step. Now here is where we can see our data and you can actually, I believe, use Vision AI in this step as well, um, but we already did that. I'm gonna go ahead and just change the price here and I want to click bulk edit as I want it to happen on all of our listings. If you remember right, we're publishing all five of them at once. This is how you can filter between them is clicking the arrows at the top. So I'm gonna to go to bulk edit. Uh, let's say that we want to um, sell these for $3.99 and then the quantity, I always do at $9.99, which is the max that Etsy will let you do for digital products. And then we're gonna click apply in bulk. Now you'll see when I switch between these, they're all done. And now we can go to the next step. So this step just shows you what your listings look like before you publish them. So you can see we've got a really good looking primary mockup. Here's our additional mockups, our title, price, quantity, description, and then our um, tags. So over here is where we can change our shop if you have multiple shops connected. Um, ours is the My Designs SVG shop, and then category is going to obviously be digital, which should already be selected when you're publishing digital products. So now all we have to do, if we like how this looks, is just go up to the top corner, click publish, and now once this job is complete, I'll jump over to our Etsy shop to show you what they look like there. All right, we're over on our Etsy shop now, and you can see here are our five beautiful listings that are done. Um, and you can see that our primary mock-up is the exact one that we selected. If we click into these, we can actually go and look at our other mock-ups here as well, but it looks like everything came through perfectly. Um, I do want to point out really quick that anything you publish through My Designs will always be saved to your draft folder over here, as you do have to pay that 20 cent listing fee when you publish them. So we'll never send it straight to active. You, it goes to draft and then you have to come and select them all and then click publish.
But that's how easy it is to create uh, digital Tumblr wraps with my designs and easily publish them to your Etsy store. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below.